All right, tubes. We got our four cylinder in here. We're gonna work on this. What are you doing, Mike? Taking the battery out? Yeah, it's been sitting in the shed all winter, so it needs to needs to get charged up before we do anything with it. Yeah. In a sense, trying to use, crank it with a half with dead, a dead battery. battery. Yeah. It'll never work. No. Yeah, we had trouble. We had a, we had this at a show last year, and we had trouble. It wouldn't start for us, and we couldn't figure out what it was. And it turned out. Oh, it wouldn't crank. Well, it wouldn't crank. You know, we thought we thought the battery was dead, and we put jumpers on it and everything else, and it still wouldn't crank. And it turned out the starter generator was bad. So, uh, let me take a look in here. Oh, it's on the other side there. Yeah. So, uh, we took it out and uh, we just put it in the shed. There it is right there. And we never did anything else with it. So, uh, just recently, I picked up another, uh, where's that, Mike? Starter generator. It's sitting on the, uh, on the bench over here? Bench. On the mill? Yeah. We tried to get a shorty, but uh, we couldn't. You know, so this is like a full size. We might have to do a little modification. Somebody got a phone call. I do. It's dirt bike. Uh oh. Hey Bell, what's going on? Tell them to pick up some what's pizza. Right? What's up? Okay. So uh yeah. maybe we'll we'll put this back together and uh maybe we'll get it going for you. You guys haven't seen this run in a while. We do. Everybody wanted to see it at the shows too. Um let me All right, uh, All right, right tubes. All right, tubes. On the again there. It's been a while here. And uh, I think last time we, were, we showed this here, we took the generator out, generator starter, because it was all screwed up. That's why it wouldn't start. And uh, we put another generator starter in there, but it had a different size pulley. We couldn't get the pulley off the old one. I had to get see it in there. So we had to change. We had to change the whole uh, setup on here, and the belts and everything. So now Mike, I don't, I don't know if the battery's charged enough, Mike, but uh, it, it seemed like it was charged. Yeah. Well enough. Uh, it'll work. I just gotta. Yeah, it just wasn't worth working on another one, you know. I mean, crazy. We we get these uh, generator starters for five five dollars at the shows, and ain't worth our our. Well, and this is a long frame starter too, which I don't know. Maybe somebody does, but if they have a little bit more torque to them, which would be handy on the on a four cylinder engine, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. The armatures are longer. The, st the the poles, the stator are longer. I don't know. Yeah. More to it. Could be. But whatever. But whatever. It's gonna work. All right. Yeah, right. the pulley, well, of course, the pulley on this one, like you said, is a bit larger, so it might even give the engine a, a quicker spin, depending on how how it works out with the, the, the power of the generator, or the power of the starter versus the belt ratio. I don't know. Well, we'll, we'll have to test it we'll see. see. It's got a little bit of tension on it now. It should at least turn the engine, I would think. Mm-hmm. Um, All right, you still got to put the plugs on and put that back on and hook the battery up. Right. All right, we'll let him do that, and then... Uh, We'll see if we can start. Place it. It must have been two years since we started. Something like uh, year and a half. Yeah, year and a half, maybe. Well, it's been a year because uh, yeah, it's been. Yeah, a Bowers, a good year. Right. Yeah, it's been a good year. Hmm. Yeah. Matter of fact, the last show we were at is when we couldn't start. We had trouble starting it. Whoa! Whoa! You see that? I did. All right. It's guessing. It's guessing. We'll hook the plugs up too. All right. All right. We'll get back to you. So long. Alrighty, Mike's got all his uh, spark plugs in, and we just, just gassed it up and everything like that, and uh, we're going to see if it runs. Remember, this thing hasn't hasn't run in over a year. Alright, Mike, go ahead. You going you gonna to take the carburetor hat off? I'm going to try, I'm going to hit the little primer thing for a second, and then just okay. try to crank it and see what it does. Alright, sometimes uh, when we first start, we used to have to take the carb hat off, but uh, try without it. Go ahead, buddy. Oh. Yeah. You said it would never run, Mike. What do they know? Yeah, right. Don't rev it, Mike. They said you can't rev it. What do they know? I don't know. I think they said that carburetor is too small and they said it was too big. What do they know? They said you need four of them. Sounds good to me, buddy. Pretty cool. I think it's ready for the show, buddy. I'm happy with it. Me too. Can't ask for more than that.
I got a brand new uh, temperature gun in there, Mike. Go give it a try. I just picked up a brand new temperature gun. It just came in the mail yesterday. Milwaukee. Why the flash? I don't know. It's on hold. broken already, I already yeah. Now it's fine. Yeah. No, it's not pissed in there. Alright, let's figure out how to use this thing. Alright, let's see what we got here. What's the first one, Mike? Well, the first one is 266. Hmm. 270. It's hard to tell. This this warning flashing thing is a little strange. 248 or so. I don't know how that's showing up with a glare here, but uh, we'll tell you what it says. 219, 218, hmm. 220, 238. Oh, it must have been missing a couple times. Not running quite as hot, but uh, yeah. Yeah, one's okay for what it yeah. is. No, I'm, I'm happy with it. Me too. I mean, uh, actually. Hmm. Right, let's check it out. It does smell like a mouse is in there somewhere. Uh, I smell mouse piss. Alright. Alright. Alright, so we're happy with it, right Mike? Yeah, it's ready for the show. Ready season. for the show. Alrighty. Enough of this. I think you should get it charged.